Hey Cancer, welcome to your tarot love reading for the month. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you guys. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. And as always, thank you for your continuous support. So the reading that we're going to be taking a look at, it is going to be a general tarot spread. Please be mindful of that throughout the reading. Or perhaps you may be interested in a personal tarot reading with me. If so, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Along with all the information you will require. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here this month. Okay, see what you may need to know here. The reading is intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising as well. Shrimp, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups here, and lastly, the Three of Cups. Okay, there is something here this month that I feel like is really going to, is going to feel very trying, and at times like it almost like it's testing your patience. A romantic connection with a fellow water energy. You've got strong water energy here, fellow Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. You've also got earthly energy here, Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn here. The strength card here. Whenever it lands in a tarot spread, it, is, it does indicate a strength of character here. So I feel like for some of you, you may be going through some sort of um, through some sort of conflict or some sort of um, relationship issues, maybe, or even some internal issues here. And I'm seeing that you're going to you are going to have to rely on your inner strength here. Okay, you will rely on your inner strength on um, or tune into your higher source here in order to. In order to balance and to work through this conflict here, it could be inner conflict as well. For those of you that are struggling when it comes to relationships, if you have any relationship issues, um, if you have any relationship concerns, doubt or hesitations, I do like the remaining cards for you here because I am seeing this is going to pass and I am seeing that um, resolution will come and it will come gently here. And it will restore a peace of mind for you here. For some of you with the Seven of Pentacles here, this is earthly energy, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, to me, the man, uh, the, the figure in the picture here looks very fatigued, almost like he's over it, right? Um, you know, he's, he's planted these tiny little seeds and he's nurtured them until this has turned into a thriving garden. But he doesn't look like he seems to be enjoying the fruits of the labor. He seems a little bit over it from working too hard. So if this is you, he cancer, if you feel like there are certain situations, especially when it comes to romantic connections, romantic endeavors, if there are certain situations you feel like you've been putting in so much work and you're not necessarily seeing the results here, um... You feel like you may be working so hard, but you feel like as though it's for little gain here. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles is encouraging for you here to take a look at the long-term benefits of this uh, of this relationship or of this connection here. Uh, it could also indicate with the Seven of Pentacles, he could also indicate that maybe the issue at hand here is that you seem to be stuck, stuck in some sort of routine, you know. Um, Maybe you're constantly dating the same type of person here when it comes to love, but you could be in different relationships, but essentially, and you know, you could be in the same type of relationships but with different people, but essentially it just, it all feels mundane, it all feels the same here. Some of you could even be uh, wandering in a missed opportunity with someone here from what I can see as well. 
For those of you that are single, I feel like you may be dissatisfied with your current love life and you may be pondering and contemplating a lot, but what are you doing to change that? Are you putting yourself out there? Are you open to receiving love? So yeah, I'm seeing that some of you are, it's like you're waiting for something to come in um, and you feel as though you have been putting in a lot of work and maybe you have. But for some of you, I feel like you need to take a step back. You know, maybe you need to work smarter instead of working harder. So I'm not trying to dis discount or dismiss the fact that, you know, you're not putting enough work into whatever this is, a romantic situation, a romantic endeavor, you know, a relationship, a connection here. Maybe it's just time. Maybe you're stuck in a bit of routine. Maybe it's try it's time that you try to do something differently. Because I can see this is testing your patience. But I can also see you are going to arrive at a situation. You are going to arrive um, at a resolution here. You perhaps need to light an up here and you perhaps need to change your attitude as well. I feel like there's some type of change that is needed, especially when it comes to romantic relationships here. Okay, because with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups here, I feel like you're always giving of yourself, he can. So you're always giving of yourself. And, you know, you're putting in all this effort into romantic relationships and you're putting all this um, emotional, mental and physical effort. But what's your person doing for you? Okay. And sometimes you may not know this. Um, you know, sometimes, especially when you do get the feeling that you feel stuck or things just feel, you know, stuck in a rod and things just, even though it's the same day, it's, it's a different day, it's always the same things here. This is an indication, okay, that you need to do something differently. This is an indication that you need to step outside of your comfort zone. Because at the end of the day, from what I can see, you're comfortable here, Ken. So you're comfortable in a somewhat uncomfortable situation with this person. So yeah, you're putting in all the, um, yeah, you're putting in a lot of work. Okay, maybe you're also putting too much pressure. Maybe you're wanting to see overnight results, overnight success, relationships, romantic connections, just building connections in general. They take time. They do take time. Some, you know, and the pace is different with each relationship as each relationship and each connection is unique. So sometimes you're just gonna have to go with the flow here. You're wanting more excitement from what I can see. You are wanting more excitement. And I am seeing that, I am seeing that there is something here that's gonna change for you in, in and throughout this month, but you have to be able to invite this change. You have to be able to push through, okay? You don't have to be stuck. I feel like you're kind of choosing it. You don't have to be stuck doing the same thing. You don't have to have, you know, the same type of relationships with different people. You don't have to always be the one. You don't. Putting in all this effort here. So I feel like, Cancer, it's time to switch things up a little bit. I feel like it's time to direct the focus on you. To direct it inwards here. If, regardless if you are single or if you are coupled up watching this, I feel like this month you're going to have plenty to celebrate, but only if you count your blessings. You know, only if you count your blessings, only if you take a step back and realize everything that you have here. And only if you, I feel like if you try and do things differently, if you try and change things up. For those of you in relationships, I'm seeing that there is, you are inviting a sense of adventure and a sense of passion into, you're injecting that back into your love life, especially if things have felt a little bit stagnated or if you feel like you've been putting in a lot of effort and you've not, seen, you've not been seeing enough rewards. I feel like you will be this month, you will be enjoying the fruits of labor. There is no such thing as overnight success, even though it may seem like that from the outside in. So just a little patience, okay? Just a little patience. And sometimes you have to stick it out, okay? Because you don't know how far or how close your breakthrough is. So you just have to stick it out. Hang in there because I do feel like this month there'll be plenty for you to celebrate. But then again, it also depends upon your emotional perspective. Are you seeing the glass as half empty or is it half full? Or better yet, is it refillable? Like, I feel like it depends the way, it depends, you know, the way in which you look at things and the angle that you take. But I am seeing that you're possibly going to be the center of attention this month. I am seeing that you're going to have reason to celebrate, especially from all the hard work that you've been putting in. Uh, trying some sort of conflict is going to gain a resolution. Some trying times 
are going to be resolved. A connection that feels stagnated will finally see growth and expansion. And I feel like all of this energy that you have, I know, Cancer, I know you're very selfish and you, you, you flow a lot of this energy and love towards other people. But you know what? It's time to give some of that energy to yourself. It's time to give some of, you know, that loving to yourself. It's time to flow it towards you here. Because you can't pour it from an empty vessel. Okay, so make sure you fill your chalice first. All right, Kinsa, that is your spread. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, by liking, commenting, or sharing. No pressure. Um, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to inquire. Otherwise, guys, take care, keep safe, and I'm going to catch up with you later in the week.